hi everyone so now i'm going to discuss with you the tutorial for the cylindrical coordinate that is exercise 2f so the first question is um, 2a so in 2a you have to change to cylindrical coordinate and evaluate the following triple integrals so this is the questions so look at the questions so uh, first of all we look at the interval for the x interval it is from negative 2 to 2 and for y interval it is from negative square root 4 minus x square to square root 4 plus, uh, minus x square and for the z okay we will just remain it okay because in cylindrical coordinate okay we also got um, the dz okay so we will look at mainly the x and also the y so based on this one okay so for our y it is actually a circle because it is represented by this equation y equals to square root 4 minus x square and when you rewrite this equation okay it will become y square plus x square equals to 4 which is equations for our circles with radius of 2 so you draw a circles okay with radius of 2 and if according to this interval your y this is your y okay your y will be from the negative okay equation of the circle to positive equation of the circle so this one is the equation of the circle okay it will be from negative okay up to positive okay so i will shade the whole sections and let's look at the x so the x interval is from negative 2 to 2 this is your x axis negative 2 is here and positive 2 is here so it means that the region is actually the whole circle so for this whole circle you have radius okay interval which is from 0 to 2 0 to 2 in all region and next is your theta will be from 0 to 2 pi okay because it is a complete circle okay so when you replace okay all the parameters here to the parameters of cylindrical coordinate okay so this one i remain first okay sorry so this one okay you have to change it to um the symbol used to represent the cylindrical coordinate where the x square okay minus uh, plus the y square it will be replaced by the r square okay you can make a bracket here if you make a bracket here the negative you bring out so it will be x square plus y square which is, uh, which is equivalent to r square and next okay d z you already define the interval and for your dr and don't forget this r okay they are a package d z r dr d theta they are a package okay so for your dr you will follow this interval 0 to 2 and for the d theta okay you will follow the interval from 0 up to 2 pi next we look at the inner part okay it is 4x square again you need to transform it to the parameters to the cylindrical parameters where the x you can replace it by r cos theta and you have a square here next you perform the interval as usual for the dz okay you need to integrate with respect to z so the whole thing here will be a constant you just remain it so you will have a z here so produce this one and now you combine the r here okay you can combine the r and you get this one okay next you need to integrate with respect to r so the 4 cos square theta will be a constant you bring it out and you bring this out into in, inside the bracket so you get this thing remember this is r square that's why you get the r5 here and next you perform the integration okay you have you perform the integration and you get this one and for this step you can press your calculator to get the answer for the uh, to get answer after you in integrate the the 
interval with respect to the t theta. So you will get your answer 64 over 3 pi. So this is the first question. Next, let's move on to the second question. Question B. So given this one, okay. First thing we examine their x and y interval. X is from 0 to 1 and y is from 0 up to square root 1 minus x square. And if you rewrite this equation again, you will find that this is actually representing a circle. So I will draw a circle and the radius of the circle is 1. So let me check my interval y. y is said that to be from 0 up to the equation of circle. So this is your y. Okay. So y0 is here, is this line. y0. Okay. Up to the equation of the circle. So it actually means the whole part here. But we have to check the x. And the x is said to be from 0 to 1. Okay. So x is this line. 0 is this line and 1 is here. So actually it means this section only. Okay, this section only. So if it is this section, the radius will be from 0 to 1. Okay, and the angle theta will be from 0 up to pi over 2, which is 90 degrees. Okay, next you replace, okay, this interval into your equations. Okay. So, first of all, I will transform this one, okay? It will become 1 minus r square, okay? And then, my dr will be from 0 to 1. d theta will be 0 up to pi over 2. And for the inner part, the x will be replaced by r cos theta. And don't forget the square. Next, you perform the integrations. This one, it will be a constant because you want to integrate with respect to z. You get this one, okay, and then this one. Next, you integrate with respect to the dr. So this one you bring it in. This one also you bring it in. You get this one. And in this case, the r, the cos square theta, will be a constant. So you just focus on this section, and you get this one. And finally this one and here you can press your calculator for you to get the answer which is equals to pi over 48 so this is question B next we will move on to the uh, questions okay so this question is about finding the volume so you have question 3 a and B so you have to use the cylindrical coordinate to find the volume of the solid which is enclosed by parapoloid and plan z equals to 16 and for the b it is inside cylinder with the radius of 5 between the plan z equals to 2 and x plus z equals to 8 so let's look at question b first okay b so inside cylinder so first of all you have to draw a cylinder so i draw a cylinder here okay and this cylinder the base of it is a circle and that circle has a radius of 5 eh? this is 25 so the radius is 5 okay 5 square that's why you get 25 between the plan z equals to 2 so plan z equals to 2 okay is represented by this horizontal plane okay it slides horizontally the cylinder and you have an x plus z equals to 8 and this is the plane okay this is a plane if you draw it in 2d it will be like this okay z and x okay in this way so now you transform it into 3d okay you just draw a line here so you have to imagine you slice this cylinder okay by using this plane okay i, I just draw this line okay you slice it okay now you need to find the volume which is enclosed by this okay plans okay and also the cylinder so which means that it is actually this part eh, this part okay you have to understand your solid even though you cannot draw the final or you cannot imagine the final uh, uh, look of the solid but you have to um, 
be able to draw this thing okay here and next we have to define the interval so this is the equation okay for us to calculate the volume by using cylindrical coordinate this is the cylindrical representation so first of all we need to define okay the projection that we want so if i choose the xy projections okay when i look at this solid from the top okay basically i will see a circle here i will see a circle here and the circle has the radius of five so my r will be from zero to five and complete circle that's why my theta is from zero up to two pi next Okay, imagine yourself sitting inside the solid for you to define the interval. When you refer down, you see the plane. Okay, z equals to 2. So for your dz, it will be from 2 and uh, up to x minus x. Okay, when you refer up, you see this plane. Okay, you see this plane actually cut this cylinder. Okay, so the top of this solid is actually covered by z equals to 8 minus x okay this one is from here okay z equals to 8 minus x eh? so this one will be the interval for your z okay so you can solve like usual okay so this is how you solve the dz and next okay you have to solve for the r okay so you can simplify it and here you check you have an x okay you you have to uh, replace the x with the r cos theta okay so it will become like this then only you perform the integration with respect to the r so you will get this one and finally okay you can press calculator for this one in order to get your final answer which is equals to 150 pi unit cube so unit cube represent that it is a volume okay next let's move on to question a so question a is this one okay so first of all you have to draw a parabola and then next is this plane eh? z equals to 16 so this is your parabola okay this is your parabola and this parabola actually can extend up to infinity However, the, main, the question asks you to chop it, okay, to cut it at the height z equals to 16. So you imagine you have a horizontal plane, okay, you cut this parabolic at the height z equals to 16, okay. Okay, so first of all, let's decide the projection that we want. So here I will decide to use the xy projection. So when I choose the xy projection, I see a circle. And this circle, it has radius of 4. Okay, in order to get this uh, radius 4, you can, um, you can take the equation of paraboloid, which is this one. Okay, because the paraboloid stop at z equals to 16, so I will replace 16 here. So if 16 is here, okay, the radius will be 4. So it means that when you look at this parabolic from top, okay, you will see a circle here and the radius is 4. So the r will be from 0 to 4 and the theta will be from 0 up to 2 pi. Okay, so 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 4 represent the dr and also the d theta. And next we move on to the dz. So imagine yourself sitting inside this parabolic. Okay, when you refer down, you see the equation or you see the parabolic here. Okay, so the z will be from x square plus y square up to when you refer up. Okay, you see a plane, horizontal plane at the height z equals to sixteen. So you will stop at sixteen. Okay, so. For this one, you need to transform it into the R square, okay, because it is cylindrical parameters, and then you continue to solve it step by step, okay, dz, after that the dr, and after that the d theta to get the 128 pi unit cube, okay, for this solid. 
so this is the question a to a okay let's move on to the question 4a which is the um, question okay then i pull it in the uh, google form so for this cylinder okay you have a cylinder so for this question 4a you have to use uh, triple integrals to find the volume of the solid within a cylinder x squared plus y squared equals to 9 and between the planes z equals to 1 and x plus z equals to 5 okay so i will state out i will just state out the important uh, structure here cylinder planes okay so this one is very similar to the previous questions uh, especially uh, this question okay very similar okay so first of all you draw a cylinder okay with radius of three okay so it is a circle and plan z equals to one is this one okay so i cut this cylinder at the height z equals to one and after that i will slice it by using the x plus z equals to five so i will slice it okay so this is a solid that you will get uh, that you need to find its volume so from the xy projection you see a circle okay you see a circle the radius of the circles is 3 so your dr will be from 0 up to 3 and for the theta it will be from 0 up to 2 pi complete circle and for the dz you you imagine yourself sitting inside the solid okay when you refer down you will see this plane z equals to 1 so here is 1 and when you refer up you see this surface okay and this surface is cut by plane x plus z equals to 5 so my z will be will be 5 okay minus x eh? here so you put it in so this is the answer okay in the google form okay you put that interval into the equation for volume okay you will get this one okay and after that you transform the x to be r cross theta okay next you move the r into the bracket and perform the integration with respect to r okay and finally you perform the integration with respect to theta so you will get the volume equals to 36 pi unit cube so this is the answer in google form